And I would just like to say, in terms of like every every day, every every Tuesday, uh, we play. I I I um the songs, the music you hear from me, typically is is from is from my mobile device, and we've um we 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 we're, we're using it on uh, Bluetooth and it's working it's working really well because because there's no there's no leads to contend with. So, Phonic, if you if you if you're listening, I, I really think you should you should invest in one of these because I think everybody everybody would actually benefit from it because there's no leads to be there's no there's no there's no leads to be being used and so so it works it works better. I don't I don't I don't know why people would want to be using leads. Well, hang on a moment. Quality is just so, good. Yeah, the qu- I mean yes. Okay. Yeah, we we go, we're going to go off on a on a little chat now. We will come back to the music. But um, yeah, in fact, it, this this was working so well. We didn't mention it. Well, I didn't mention it. I didn't think we needed to mention it. We've we've gone on to this at great length. Lis- listeners, just try and stay with us a little bit. Um, in the studio, it's a classic FM studio based on CDs, essentially, which I don't mind. I've got a box of CDs, so I think that's more a backup now. The gradual trend of the show is to is to play stuff from the web. So the, the, the computer is definitely working. That's, that's part of the normal fixtures. And so we've got web access and YouTube and SoundCloud and various things like that. Um, but as, as John says, we now have a, a Bluetooth device um, plugged in through a submixer. And it, does, it seems to be louder. For some reason, it seems to be louder than the cable. Yeah. We're having to turn it down a little bit rather than worry about how we could possibly turn it up. Which is a good sign. I think that's a good thing. It's a very, very good Thing. But John, I have to put to you on the on the Wild Show yeah. on a Thursday. Yeah. Um, Chris, because we 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 got it working last week with the help of JD, who was who was here as our guest. JD, if you're listening, hello mate, and I hope you're well. And um, we don't put all our guests to work in the same sort of way. But JD, we do because <laughs> JD's awesome. He is. Um, and he didn't make me cry last week. No, I'm pretty sure. I, I, going off topic again, JD. He didn't make me cry, buddy. It wasn't. It wasn't you. I, I, I'm pretty sure from from what Chris has told me that that I I looked at you and I burst into tears. It was absolutely it was absolutely nothing to do with you directly. So don't worry, buddy. I'm looking forward to seeing you on Thursday, and stay well until then. And I think it might have been his birthday. I think we might have missed his birthday. JD, happy birthday, buddy. But anyway, getting back to the techie stuff, we've now got two Bluetooth devices. Um, JD has invested in a, a totally portable one, which you can charge up. So that's got an internal battery. And uh, I've invested in a Philips one, which has got a, a plug. Because I'm that sort of person. I, I think the studio looks better with a, with a plug. Mm-hmm. And Philips is a um, very, good, very good brand. So I think anybody who's a proper studio person will be quite happy with this. We really need an enormous metal case around our Bluetooth device, I think, to, to really meld in with the FM studio. But anyway, um, where, where, where was I? Yeah, it's, it's working. That's the thing. Right. So, so that is good. But Chris, yeah, this is what I was trying to say. Chris, I noticed, he, he, he appreciates it, but he believes it's, it's um, depleting his batteries. He thinks if you if you have um, a cable from your iPhone or any other phone, any sort of wi- wi- any sort of device, any sort of mobile device, um, other other devices are available. But you both seem to quite like the iPhone. Yeah. I just mentioned that as an objective fact. But you could run a, you could run a whole show from your from your phone. And I that's could. Not, that's and Will's phone. May I add, is not. It's not Apple, so no. it's possible for William to do a perfectly good show from a phone. Well, yes, which he can't imagine because Will, Will, Will's quite old-fashioned. Oh, I am quite old-fashioned, but I just think if we got if we got a variety of devices in the studio, including a CD player, then um, it's not that nothing can go wrong. It's just that we've got more more options. Anyway, um, what I was going to say was. Chris has, has expressed the opinion that Bluetooth is an extra demand on the battery and that he would rather have a cable than lose his battery during the day. So I don't know what... what you, you just seem to think you're, you're so happy the fact that you can hold your phone in your hand and move about. Yeah. 
that um, you don't mind your battery oh. running out? No, I don't. No, I don't because I charge. I charge it up every every night, and you know, <laughs> what I don't under what I what I stress. Chris, Chris does have a point, but what I do stress about everything has side effects. Yeah. So that's one of the side effects you've got to realise. If you if if you, you know, uh, having Bluetooth is draining your battery slightly more. But even if you play it on cable, it still drains your battery because it's still on. Yeah. And. So, so there's side effects to everything. Nothing's perfect, and and as long as I can, as long as I can play with no wires, I'm happy. But there are the the Bluetooth does drain your battery. You're right there, Chris. Okay. So, but anyway, we, at least we got the choice. Yeah, it stands for personal choice. Personally, I like I like being able to use the just just have no wires to contend with because it's because it's more straightforward for me. I don't have to panic about wires. Um, so it's easier. But if Chris likes to use the, the the lead, then that's 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 up to Chris. That's his choice. Like you like to use CDs, that's your choice. Okay. But I do I do like to stress to you that you that 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 you that you that you would be perfectly able to 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 use your phone like the rest of us and do a do a whole entire show from there. Right. As okay. time goes on, yeah. it's possible from your from your from your uh, platform. Yeah. That device. Yeah. No, that's right. Anyway, look, I think we should play some music. Yeah, so do I. Because the listeners, they, 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 I'm sure they're interested in how the show works, but probably they oh. want to hear something. Well, it's something new to talk about, and that's why I want to talk about it. Yeah, quite right. Quite right, too. So have you got a track lined up, or should we play a CD? I right. Sorry about this, I think our, our trusty CD player is, is throwing a wobbly at the moment. Um, so, uh, we're going to try something from the phone. The phone is turning out to be reliable. Okay, <laughs> um, it's One Direction Story of My Life from the phone. <laughs> 